I think it's just how GTRs are. Yeah, like this that. thing needs to go back up on the lift. Alright, so before this video gets started guys, it's time to call the winner of the ZR1 plus $30,000 cash. His name is Douglas Flippo from Texas. He's 52 years old and this one's a little bit different because the sweepstakes company actually wanted to call him first before us. But you know what? There was a little bit of change in rules, so it's all good. So he's probably already surprised, but maybe he doesn't think it's like 100% legit yet. So we're about to seal the deal. This is going to seal the deal yes, right sir. here. And dude. he's going to see his car for the first time. Exactly. Man. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and try to FaceTime him. And let's see, it's ringing right here, dude. Exciting stuff, man. How's it going, Douglas? Oh, it's going great now, man. That's awesome. I'm sure you already heard the news, but we're here to seal the deal and, uh, you know, tell you that this is legit. You won the Corvette ZR1 plus 30,000. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Uh, I'm blessed beyond belief. Uh, I can't believe it. That's Amen. awesome. I want, I want you to see this thing. It's a beauty. <laughs> and we're just so happy that you supported us. And now you're the winner of this right here. Absolutely, man. Oh, man, that is so sweet. Oh, man, I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? The next thing is to pretty much, you know, figure out when you want to come out here. And if you can come out here, I'm, I hope you can. You know, that way we can throw a party for you and you can pick this thing up. I, I could take off the next, any of the next seven days would okay. be good. Well, yeah, we're, we're super pumped. We're, we're excited <laughs> for you because you're going to love this thing. I mean, 755 horsepower. I don't know if you, you're into Corvettes, but I think you will be after this I think I'll be too. I mean y'all do great work uh, anything y'all do is awesome so thank you uh, we, we appreciate that well thank you so much Douglas yeah we'll stay in touch I'll shoot you a text message we'll figure everything out and uh, we'll figure out a good day for you to come out here and we'll we'll see you soon thank you bye bye see ya Dang, dude. I can't wait for him to come out here, man. It's just, it's even better when they're actually here and they see the car in person. Then it's just, it becomes real and it's just That's when awesome, it hits dude. him, dude. All exactly, at once. Exactly, dude. But anyways, let's get back to work. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to continue working on the 2024 Nissan GTR. And as you guys seen, we have been making a ton of progress. I mean, just look at this thing. The interior is fully in. We got the transmission and the wiring harnesses. Everything is looking absolutely amazing over here. We even are making a ton of progress on this motor. We got it pretty much fixed up where it was damaged, and now it is almost time for this sucker to go inside of the GTR. And that's what we're gonna move on to next, is actually mounting the sucker up on the subframe along with some suspension pieces and pretty much getting it ready to go in. And then after that, we got some body panels that we gotta paint, try to finish up all the paint work because we are just getting super close to just wrapping this whole entire project up. This is probably the funnest, most exciting part is actually finishing up the builds, of course. But you know what, guys? We got a ton of work on our hands still. So right now, let's go ahead, dive right into that motor, try to get it ready to go into this car, and we'll keep things moving.
right, guys, I think we just ran into the most difficult part of this whole entire rebuilding process, and that happened to be the studs on the turbos for the downpipes. I mean, a 12-minute job turned into literally a 12-hour nightmare. They literally all were breaking when we were removing them, and the reason why we had to remove them is because they were already stripped whenever we took the nuts off, which was insane. They started snapping. We had to start drilling, tapping, cleaning threads, everything. It was just awful, and they were super super tough metal so we were throwing torches welding doing everything that we can finally got them all off except for one here but luckily this is a good stud right here so we're not worried about that new studs should be in here in like a day or two we overnighted some well honestly i think we'll be able to throw the new studs in while it's in the car and whoever does these down pipes at home in their driveway crazy uh, crazy people <laughs> i don't even know if you can do that that's insane i think they were just made to not ever come off dude. and that's what i'm saying why did nissan not want people to throw on beautiful downpipes like this dude, dude this is gonna that. be amazing all that work is definitely gonna be worth it once these go on and we hear this bad boy rip for the first time which we're close next step is to get this entire setup inside the car it's on the new subframe we got the 2024 suspension here we got the brand new suspension on that side we threw in the bell housing all that stuff flywheel and everything it's ready to go i mean we're That's super right. pumped car is right there i think we're just gonna throw it inside the car just how it sits right here i think it'll be pretty simple we'll just slide it up on those studs right there line everything up start buttoning everything up and I we'll, may even start it. I don't know. Dude, you think without we can start the, it without the downpipes? I don't know. We'll see. We still got cooling system and all that stuff. Once we get close and this thing gets some power, we may turn it over a little bit. That's you know? right. But I guess as of right now, let's slap in that motor, let's dude. Let's bring it in. Check this out guys. So the motor is officially fully installed in this GTR and it's looking absolutely beautiful. I mean, all the wires are just falling right into place and we got everything looking just nice and neat. We even threw in a battery and also we did connect to the ECU and we were able to even turn on the ignition you know, get everything working like the radio and even the Starliner, dude. How cool is that, dude, man? Everything works properly. It's literally wow. one click away from starting. Dude, we are much. getting so close. All we really got left is just the cooling system, the oil and the fluids pretty much. But also we did knock out all of the suspension. I mean, look at that on the left and the right side. It's looking absolutely just pristine. Got the brand new caliper, brand new rotor. I mean, I love how clean it's looking up in here. And of course, we threw on our brand new coilovers, dude. dude. those look super clean. We definitely wanted to lower this car a little yeah. bit. 
exactly. look how crazy they matched it to the caliper, which that's is just cool. awesome. But that's one of the best coilovers you can get for a GTR. Yep. We did a bunch of research because you know we did want to have something where we can lower it, but also have that good handling. And Olin's is actually one of the best, so that's what we went with. I mean, it's going to have a bunch of adjustments. Look at this. You can literally do a bunch of like adjustments for just whatever you want. If you want to do for street, for track, drag racing, comfort, any comfort, man. you can adjust it. Dude, I can't wait to just test this sucker out. But anyways, I think what we're going to move on to is the cooling system. Oh, and another thing real quick. We also installed this carbon fiber piece right here, which this tub didn't have the holes for. All we had to do is drill some holes for the bolts and we got it perfectly in there. Looks original. And it's going to give it that extra stability. You know oh, what I yeah. mean? I mean, it's pretty much ready. The engine bay is done. Other than like done. the front cooling system, it's pretty much complete. Yes, sir. And also for the rear coilovers, we are going to save those for a little bit later because you do got to remove some of that interior. So we'll just do that when we're doing the finishing touches. But dude, I think it's time to go ahead and just finish up this cooling system. Put some oil in it. Put we some haven't oil even in. checked yeah. for leaks or anything like that. Yeah, we'll start with that. We'll probably put the oil in it, make sure nothing's dripping at the bottom, and then we'll do the cooling system, and then we'll start this sucker up. Alrighty guys, the moment of truth is here. We got the whole cooling system installed. Everything pretty much is ready for this first start. We don't have any down pipes. Give it a crank. You ready? Yes, sir. Oh, no brakes. No Let's brakes go. either. Those down pipes. Did you hear those turbos? Dude, they start spooling, but dude, it fired right, right here, up, dude. Man. Right That's here. All it's about, Pops. man. <laughs> Let's go, dude. All it that sounded time. good it's the too. First time we ever started it since we got it. I mean, we never started it ever, never, dude. It's crazy. Well, now what we need to really see to test this motor is pretty much let it idle, get up to temperature, and all that stuff. Yep. So hopefully today the down pipe such should have came in, but I think tomorrow they're gonna come in. We're gonna definitely put that yeah. exhaust in once we do that uh sensors and all and do this thing should idle should up to purr. temperature oh, it yeah. should purr it may even throw it in drive and drive oh it. yes we got the drive oh, shaft yeah. so it's gonna have to go back up on the lift but dude look how beautiful this cooling system is right there we had to pretty much completely tear it down and clean it up because yep. that did come off the salt water yeah right? cleaned everything up made sure everything was good and all that good stuff i mean it just cleaned up really nicely put everything back in all the lines, everything, the front end is just ready for bumper and fenders. Dude. Yes, sir. And look at this. We even got some nice carbon intakes right there. Definitely got to get some nicer uh, blow off valves as well. Right yeah, going to make this thing, you know, make it spit make, a little bit. Yeah, make it sound better. But other than that, dude, cold airs, coolant, oil, fresh oil, and everything in here. I mean, I say we 
put on the exhaust, finish that up once the studs come in and throw the wheels on this thing. We're going to call it a day for now because it is already late and um, I guess we'll continue tomorrow, but it's crazy that it went from that to that right there, dude. What a what a crazy amount of work we did on this GTR, man. Oh, yeah. This is, this is the first one that we built bottom up. <laughs> from the ground up, but you know what? I think it's so worth it because you know what? We got a brand new car pretty much here. I mean, we did use a few little components from the parts car. But, but it's that's nothing why we crazy. Bought it. Exactly. That's why we bought it. Nothing like right. little plastic radiators. But other than that, man, she is brand new. She's, She's brand new. Now I think, we just need to finish painting it, you know? Yes, that's going to be the next major thing. But I think, honestly, later on down the road, we are going to upgrade, like, all the charge pipes. Maybe bigger intercooler. Intercooler, all that stuff like right little there. Little stuff. First, we want to get it right. But it almost sounds. It does know, almost sound like a VQ. Not gonna a little, lie. It sounds really good. Get a get a good give a good one. Give us a good one, pops. <laughs> Sounds so good. Clean. Sounds amazing. And you know what else arrived? We need, we need to change these. That's exactly. exactly what just arrived in a box somewhere over there, dude. I'll say we change those right now, man. Let's do it. I mean, exhaust we got, sounds good now. Everything's on. together. Um, the revs sound amazing, but now we got to make it, you know, make it sound a little bit better, man. Yeah, I mean, we're almost ready to drive yeah. pretty much. You know All what we mean? got left is pretty much just bleed all the brakes, which that's going to take a good bit of brake fluid those are some big brakes and it's completely empty yep. everything and also we did run into a pretty serious issue with the lower control arm on oh, this side yep. um, we bought a brand new one this is actually it right here but when we went to install it it um, pretty much was just super loose up against the knuckle right yeah and we tightened it all the way down and we were wondering why it was wobbling still and there's supposed to be a cone on here i don't know why they don't sell it with that cone because it gets pressed on so 
Nissan's just doing some weird stuff with their parts. So it sucks. Anyways, we just threw on a used one on there off of our parts car, which we just cleaned it up, made sure all the ball joints are good on it. Everything's perfect. Yep. So we threw it on there. It's good now. It looks brand new. And I mean, suspension's finally done right finally, there. Finally, dude. We're almost ready to put this sucker in drive and maybe do a launch, but we are going to just make sure everything is 100%. Brakes. Brakes. <laughs> Got to have brakes. So let's uh, keep on moving and um, install these bad boys. Let's do it. Too good. Oh, what? every light on. Every light in the house is on. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. But hey, it's driving though. It's driving. First drive right here. <laughs> Woo Golly! First time it's been on the road, dude. That's right, right there. First drive, man. That's pretty dang good for its first drive, honestly. It's kind of weird how it like just goes into gear it almost feels like a little bit slipping or something you know what i mean i think it's just how gtrs are hey. dude it gives you butterflies man <laughs> maybe it's because the windshield is gone but definitely i feel like something could be loose it's like could be might be the carrier bearing for the drive shaft or no, something no, you don't think like, so not that crazy It felt like it was spinning, dude. It felt like I was just real wheel drive or something. Golly. Wow, those gears are so sure. Oh, man. It's not yeah, like this thing that. needs to go back up on the lift. It did not like that. I think the all wheel drive system is. Uh... That sounds definitely like a drive shaft. No, that's not drive shaft. It's gone now. That's all wheel drive system. Oh, it broke something. That's not good. It ain't good, but I'll tell you what. After what we've done, we're not gonna let a little, little, little tick, rattle. tick rattle scare us. Can you put it in drive? Can you put it in drive? It's a bad drive shaft. You thought it was a whole transmission, transfer case, alternator. That was you. I seen your face. You got all silent. It just started feeling like you can feel it. It was like, you know. That's what it is. That's that what silent drive shaft ABS, all the drive system is on. It's a little scary. You know, tensions are high right now. Let but me tell you something. I've lost a drive shaft or two in my time. So. You did. You're used to that. I, I was. how you didn't know that that was a drive shaft. Dude. I just knew it was nothing serious. Yeah, we just need to clean this one up a little bit. Let me see this. this. Oh, yeah. See this side, the clip is on here, nothing's bent. So we'll clean this one up, throw it in there, see if it makes a difference. right there. 
actually even shifts into gear a little bit better. I don't know, there's just some weird rattling, some weird, like it's not even vibrating or anything. Like everything's smooth now. Whoa, it is, it's Remember so it was bouncing? much smoother, wow. It was bouncing, we didn't know what it was. It was I thought it was normal. It was a drive shaft bouncing everything around, dude. So now that we got the first test drive out of the way, made sure this thing runs and drives properly, and it does, and it's amazing. But now we're gonna try to get this thing back together 100%, and now we gotta finish up all of our paint work. We got two doors that we gotta take apart and paint, fenders, bumpers, and all that good stuff. And uh, I mean, this is gonna be a good bit of work, but we gotta get it done. So we're gonna go ahead and tear everything apart, wet sand everything, get it inside the paint booth, and spray it all in. And just like that guys, we got all this stuff painted and it turned out absolutely pristine. We did have to do a bunch of prep work, especially with these fenders. There were some super old PPF like on the front end of them right here. And on top of that, this stuff was in some salt water. So it bonded super strong to this stuff. We had to even throw a torch at it to scrape that old stuff off. But you know what? Got it all prepped, got it painted. Looks absolutely just beautiful. I love this color. The tools are painted, the tops and the bottoms. Look at this bumper as well, dude. We ended up taping off this section right here just like OEM. I gotta say, that looks pretty dang crisp right there. Dude, dude. that looks good. That black section right there. We were debating on painting this whole entire perimeter yep. black. It's not OEM, but I think it'll look more like the older style GTR, Dude, you know? We might still do that. What if we even wrap it yeah, just to wrap. test it out? Yeah, and then later on, if it looks good, we can paint it. No big deal, but that looks clean, Dude. So clean, man. I'm just super happy with just the amount of progress that we're making. But anyways, right now, we got the heaters going. We're gonna let this stuff bake a little bit. And I think we might have some time to mount it on the car.
Oh my goodness, guys, check this sucker out. We got the door on, the fenders, the headlights, and also that front bumper. How great does this sucker dude, look, that dude? looks super sick, Golly. especially with the color and that new front end on these GTRs. Dude, it looks amazing, man. I cannot wait to finish this sucker up, throw that hood on it, just put everything together, which I think, honestly, in the next video, this thing will be 100% finished up, and it's gonna change a whole bunch. We got some sick wheels, we got some aftermarket goodies, this thing is going to be absolutely insane when we're all done with it. But you guys are going to have to stay tuned. Definitely drop all your comments and thoughts down below. And thank you guys so much for all the love and support. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.